Hello again, this is Sheeb with the third video of my Tau Army from start to finish. Today we gave the models a base and we also gave them a base coat. So let me walk you through what I did. Some of the materials that we'll be using for this project are spray paint, chaos black, just generic craft glue. You can pick that up from the dollar store, like a dollar. And some stones, rocks, tiny bits of dirt, whatever you have. What I did to get my stones and dirt was I went out to the highway by my house with a broom and a dustpan. And sure, I looked a little funny carrying these objects out there and sweeping them up into a jar and bringing them back home. But uh, for the <laughs> if you're cheap like me, you know it, it's worth it. All right. So what I did after I collected these materials is I went out and bought some cheap glue from the dollar store and I just um, put it on the base of the models and then I spread it around with a q-tip or an old paintbrush works best because then you can get uh, into all the cracks and crevices and get really good detail without it being all up on your models legs and what have you. Now what I did next was I submerged the model with the glued base down into a mix of dirt and stones, tiny, tiny, tiny stones, because they're tiny models, little stones look real big on a model. So I just wanted the little ones, went down there, I just shook it a little bit, then knocked off the excess, and then cleaned it up with my thumb, I ran my thumb around the base, just to make sure that it was nice and pretty for when I was to spray paint them. Um, once that was all completed and I had all the models to my liking, I was going for kind of a mixed look. I didn't want to have too much on the base. kind of wanted to leave it almost really plain, <laughs> but just have very minimal dirt and rocks on there. And I think I achieved that. So once I was happy with all my bases, I took them outside, I uh, laid them on some cardboard, and then I spray painted them all chaos black. Now, they will take two coats. The first time you spray, you don't necessarily get everything. For example, the gun drones, in order for them to be spray painted, you have to have them sitting or, uh, or standing right side up and you can't get it at the bottom so you spray once on top flip them over spray them again on the bottom all right and you do that for most of the models for the crisis battle suits you know underneath the weapons underneath their uh, armor things like that their arms they don't get touched so you need to after you spray them down once spray them again a second time okay to make them complete now you generally will have to let them sit overnight gives you a much nicer paint to, uh, job too. Always be sure to do it inside a well ventilated area or better yet just go outside. Okay. Alright now I have an example here of a finished fire warrior that I did that I fully based. You don't know if you can see it from that close distance but there is rocks and rubble on there. Here maybe I give you. See there's just a little bit. Just a little bit is what I wanted. Then I spray painted it although I do need to t take another coat to it because if you notice on the underside, there's not as much paint. Same thing with the underside on this side of the model. Still needs to be another spray. So I'll just lay them on their backs, give them a quick spray, and then same thing on their back tomorrow. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for video number four, where we will be using liquid latex to apply to our models as a, a way to achieve a chipped or rusted or really worn down metal armor look. Alright, it's going to be great.